Alright, what's up guys? Today we're going to be just doing a quick potato chip. Um, what the fuck was wrong with this thing? Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using this V slicer, mandolin thing, whatever you want to call it. And I got my oil heating up at 400 degrees, because that's what it says to set it to, to, you know, fry stuff at. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take my potato and cut it in half, once with the knife. Then you're supposed to take this son of a bitch and kind of do one of those and then I got a cutting board just so I don't have to clean the counter after and then just do that and it makes your thin little slices things a pain in the ass to use. Oh, fucking dog shit motherfucker. Truth is, guys, I don't really know how to use this goddamn thing. Can I just look at the pictures on the box? So there's your thin slices. And basically just do that. I'm gonna do two potatoes about this size. All right, just a quick thing. I found out the problem was that I was holding it this way. It's supposed to go this way, because you can just, well, once you have this damn thing in your hand, you'll see what I mean, if you have the same one I got. Though this thing looks good. I don't know, this fucking thing was $10 at Walmart, so it might be a cheap piece of shit that's not gonna do much. But it's giving me thin slices, and that's good. And they're uniform, that's a big key to this, is that they need to be all, you know, like the same size. So load that back on there. Alright, that's probably about as best I'm gonna get it, but... Alright, I'm gonna do one more potato. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I got my chips all sliced up nice and thin. Some are, you know, thinner than others, I guess just is about... How much pressure I put, but anyways, you're gonna put your basket in first, and then you want to put these in one at a time. It's important so they don't stick, and don't put them. You know, don't put two whole potatoes in there. Just put about I don't know half potato at a time. There's one thing with frying is you don't want to overcrowd, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so make sure you keep them moving. First batch looks about done to me. Let them sit here while I drain them. And I know I don't, maybe they say don't use paper towels before this we're going, going to. But, um, you know, just take them out and put them in your drainer. And then do the next batch. And that's pretty much it, so I'll see you guys when these are all done. Alright guys, so I ended up cutting up another potato. Um, just so I can have... My main big bowl, this bowl, and then two other bowls that are a little bit smaller, around the same size as this one. And, you know, you can see it's only filled with a little bit, but, god damn it. This is supposed to be, I can do different flavors, so I'm just going to do this one, um, basically plain with a little bit of pepper. God damn it, it doesn't want to come out very well. There it goes. And just a big old pinch of kosher salt. And a smaller pinch. I'm just gonna toss these around. Season, and I'm gonna do like a barbecue, a spicy, try to do different flavors, so. Well, there's. Mmm. God damn good. And that's it. Alright, I'll see you guys for the next flavors.
All right, so I got my next batch. Um, I'm only gonna do in three flavors because I don't have that much chips. I start off with a nice big ass pinch of kosher salt. A little pinch. Because you pretty much need salt for chips, or else it's not gonna be very good. Mm. That's one of the original ones, sorry. Um, got some garlic powder. A little bit of that. A little bit of smoked paprika. Mostly for color. And some cayenne for heat. And we'll also add a tiny bit of black pepper. Then toss these to combine it. Season. I could have cooked these ones a little bit longer, but uh, I find a more crispy one. There you go. Damn, those are good. These are kind of like a hot barbecue chip. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So I got my last. Tiny ass little batch. Oh, you can't really see that. Hold on. Tiny little batch. And I'm gonna make these ones salt and vinegar now. They might not come out very good because I don't have malt vinegar or a spritzer. But again, big pinch of coach of salt. Followed by a small pinch. And I don't know measurements for this, I'm not gonna bother. Some pepper. By the way, the pepper and salt is like a base for all, all the chips we do that I'm doing today. I don't know if, I'll, if you guys like these, I can do more in the future. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar. Again, this might be a fuck up because I don't have proper vinegar. I'm just gonna try to do like a cat full. Not even like a half a cat full. Pretty good. So, for that, I would suggest again spritz with malt vinegar, and like a little spray thing, and just spray it and then toss it. But it's still damn good. All right, guys. So that's it. Easy potato chips. Um, like this video or comment in, in the below if you want me to show you guys how to do it in the microwave. If you don't have a fryer, because it's possible to make chips in the microwave and they come out pretty much the same. Um, but yeah. Stay tuned, tonight I'm gonna be doing chicken noodle soup because it's a cold, cold, rainy, shitty day out at my house, so perfect weather for chicken noodle soup. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace. All right, what's up guys? Oh, fuck. Cox. All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing um, just a quick potato chip. Uh, I'm gonna show you, well, one way, but I'm gonna mention another way probably, maybe not. But I got my oil heating up in my fryer at 400 degrees. I got my mandolin slicer gadget thing, which I need to clean before I use it because it's dirty. I didn't realize that. I thought the stuff in the dishwasher was clean, so I gotta clean this real quick.